Hey everyone, Will here from uh, Flea Market Finds for April 30th, 2018. Uh, last day of April. Uh, year is moving along very quickly. Uh, got a lot of stuff to show you, a lot of uh, pretty much small stuff, uh, but a uh, good amount and uh, hopefully do well in all of it. Uh, trying to increase my buys uh, back to having two, uh, two employees now. Uh, we went back to one. Uh, now we're back to two because uh, uh, just seems like I'm finding a lot of stuff. I need the uh, need the extra hand to uh, get it listed. Um, but let's take a look. I'll show you what I got. A uh, drop leg holster um, with a strap and a uh, helmet mount. Uh, so put lights or night vision on top of the helmet. These go for pretty good money. Uh, that was 15 for everything here. Uh, I forget what these bring, but uh, it's pretty good. This is a under the gun holster, like a drop leg holster. Um, but uh, like new condition. I got this from a guy who uh, served in Afghanistan. This is a medical uh, kit full of bandages and, uh, and everything. Uh, it's, it's definitely been there, uh, well-traveled. Um, but uh, I paid 20 for it. Uh, just uh, love the story that went along with it. Uh, Old-time desk lamp actually sold one of these uh, not too long ago for around $60, but that was unpainted. Uh, somebody painted this green, uh, but I got it for uh, 5 bucks, so not too bad. I uh, got a gun, and I saw this sitting out there, and I told myself, I'm not buying it. Uh, I already got too many 22 rifles, um, but I asked anyway. And uh, the guy said $25, so uh, pretty much forced me to get it. Uh, it's definitely got some condition issues. Most of it's just surface rust. It's a uh, western field. Uh, so we'll clean that up a little bit and uh, uh, add it to the collection. start well I really like the squirrel thing I mean, it's like a wouldn't really call it a latch latch hook rug but uh, uh, just a cool little squirrel rug I guess for a uh, go up on a piece of furniture or something a uh, M9 bayonet uh, land keg uh, paid 40 that should bring around 75 80 or so 45 magazine five bucks uh, it's a US uh, GI issue a uh, Robeson shore edge get that for two bucks it's a shred if I can get it open and uh, Nice made in USA trade. Um, that was eight, five bucks on the buck. Nothing special. Um, riding crop was uh, seven. Neat looking. Uh, three bucks on the corkscrew bottle opener. The Christian Brothers. Kind of weird. Uh, made in France. Lots of uh, corkscrew collectors out there. Uh, looks like a live round, but uh, it's got a blue tip. Normally blue tips mean uh, training rounds. Um, sounds like there, there's powder in there. Uh, five bucks on that. That's a keeper. Uh, buffalo horn mug. Six bucks. I like how they uh, carved it out. Uh, 
added the handle on there. Probably one of the older pieces I have this week. Uh, Real Estate Englehart Company, a uh, old uh, thermometer. You can tell it's old. Uh, look at the phone number. Calvert 0900. Uh, when they uh, switched over from uh, calling that way uh, as opposed to using area codes. Um, I think they switched over around the 50s. Not sure. Uh, letter opener. Uh, if you watch my videos, you know um, I bought a ton of these things, uh, money meters, and uh, just thought that was pretty cool. Uh, money meters are adapt adaptable to a wide variety of uses, but uh, five bucks. Somebody originally had seventy dollars on it, so. but uh, eh, it's probably put like twenty on it in the store a uh, little flashlight I'm gonna keep this for myself um, good for uh, clipping on you and working wherever a uh, couple of lighters uh, these came from the guy I got the uh, medic kit from um, show the way third the end. Um, laser finder, Bushnell laser finder. I've been checking the uh, distances on everything around here. You just look through there and uh, press the button, and it'll tell you the uh, how many yards. Uh, pretty cool. I paid 40, but I'm keeping that one for myself. Uh, I love the uh, note holder solid brass got uh, glass eyes uh, five bucks marked inside crow foot f-u-t-t -T. couldn't really find too much about this uh, but it's it's really well done I think I can get some money for that uh, a old uh, M8 uh, bayonet scabbard uh, that was five bucks um, CVA uh, knife kit. I remember doing one of these as a kid. Um, this is made in made in Taiwan. Um, yep. Uh, the ones that are made in Italy bring hundreds of dollars. A uh, pair of baby shoes for two bucks uh, with the original box. A pair of um, ballerina slippers, three bucks on those. Uh, the uh, pepper grinder uh, is marked sterling. Uh, you can, that way you can see that. There it is. Uh, Toll. T-O-W-L-E. Five bucks on that. A uh, Colonial Williamsburg reproduction um, snips off the end of the candle. Don't know the technical name for that. A uh, incense burner with a uh, food dog. Incense burners do well for me. Four bucks on that. The uh, at light. Uh, four bucks on that. These sell for pretty decent money. A uh, pair of Germany uh, salt and pepper shakers. Uh, five for a pair. A uh, Wallace uh, silver plate Easter egg. Uh, three bucks on that. This was kind of neat. Three bucks. But look inside. It's a bunch of little figures with sand. Um, made in Korea. No idea what, what that's supposed to be. But uh, pretty cool. Love the uh, snuff bottles. They're not old, but they're really well done. And uh, I like that it's a set of three of them. Uh, another snuff bottle up here. They gave its own little uh, case. Uh, nice quality. Uh, the, the bird looks like a kiwi bird. Um, 
handcrafted by Edgecombe Woodcarver, Maine. And a little hygienic depligent, uh, not going to remove sulfurous hair. Yeah, it's still got the stuff in it. Uh, three bucks on that. A uh, book for dangerous boys. Got that for my kids. The end of the school year is fast approaching. Uh, we'll give them, uh, maybe they can get a project or two out of that. Uh, board game flinch. Three dollars. No idea what that is. Uh, mercury jug. That was uh, three dollars on that. The tiles were a buck a piece, like the horses. Um, made in England. I think somebody could still uh, still use those. Um, this one made in England. Something like that. Uh, interesting. For a dollar a piece, why not? Uh, the egg coddlers. Um, never use these ever. Um, but uh, got the entire set here for $30. Um, some of these only bring a few dollars, some of them bring, um, like the bigger ones, can bring up into the hundreds uh, depending on how rare it is. So hopefully there's a rare one in here. Uh, what you do is you um, unscrew this, uh, break an egg, put it inside there, season it, uh, then uh, put it into a, uh, a boil boiling water and uh, let it cook. Uh, so we got to see about those. Uh, the little, love little figurines, this guy especially, he's been signed. Tom Clark, Tim Wolf. Uh, I guess that's Tim Wolf. Uh, they're carols for critters. Pretty neat. Uh, so hopefully we'll get some decent money out of that. Eight bucks for this set. What, what made it for me was a little scoop. Uh, the mug, it's English. 0.5 liters. Um, not sure what that says. Kind of looks military, but just guessing. Uh, the bell looks like it's off of a uh, pedal car, maybe a fire engine. Um, but uh, we'll see about that. Uh, the picture is U.S. Navy. Uh, that was. That was five bucks. Three bucks on the uh, cement head. I'm going to keep that for myself. Not, not quite sure what a good purpose for that would be, but uh, maybe put it like coming out of ground or something. Um, the little uh, comb, uh, purse comb, Stratton, England. Um, Violin King. I guess the string originally came in here. Right now it's full of uh, hairpins. Uh, Croton Watch for two bucks. Seven bucks on the Masters um, bracelet. Uh, depending on the color, these can bring as much as $150. Love the old pin there. Uh, that was uh, five bucks. A couple uh, miniature prayer books. My wrote in uh, 1943 and 1956. Etienne and I can never say that. Anye, Etienne Anye uh, watch still runs. Uh, that was 25. Saw one that sold on eBay for around 80 uh, without the box. A uh, Brighton watch uh, for 10. Another Brighton bracelet for. Uh, eight uh, pocket stapler, 350. Uh, carry it around in your pocket. Looks like a pen. Uh, this is an easy 50 bucks, believe it or not. A nice profit there. 
Uh, glass bowl, I really don't like buying glass stuff anymore, but um, you can see it's marked H inside of a diamond, which is Heisey, uh, and it was only $3. A uh, Dansk um, ice bucket, I think that's teak, uh, paid $25, that will bring about $50, $60. Uh, actually thought it would bring more. Um, the pot is uh, Desco Ware. Some of these can bring really good money. It's uh, enamel over cast iron. Uh, that was seven. Uh, this is a, I think this is for flowers. You got like a, a frog here in the middle. Um, at least that's what the guy sold it to me thought. Uh, Ten on that silver plate. Um, the uh, exterior uh, lock brings uh, two bucks. Bring about twenty on that. Another piece of porcelain. Looks like it's signed down here. Uh, that was two bucks. Two bucks on the turned wood uh, goblet. Pretty cool. I'd love to give that a try one day. Uh, the. Uh, um, the vase is uh, Moore and Company, and uh, couldn't really find this one. They make uh, some pretty good uh, porcelain, though. That was uh, five. I uh, love the uh, little table with the carved image. Looks uh, looks Oriental. Uh, it's got some age to it. You can see they use the, uh, the straight head screws, um, not the Phillips head. That's always a good sign. Uh, that was 20. Nice compact size. Shouldn't be too bad to, uh, to ship. Uh, last thing to show you is a uh, Cabba lock. Never even heard of this before. Um, they had 50 on it. I offered 30. Expecting them to counter off for 40, but they took my offer of 30. Uh, looks like it's all there. Uh, never been used. And these on eBay go for around $340. Somewhere right around there. So, uh, nice profit to be made there. Uh, so there we go. Keep an eye on my store, Terminal 99, which is where most of the stuff will be appearing over the next week. Maybe two. Uh, so until next time, it's Will Yard Sales Vitalist. I'll talk again soon.